Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, consider subscribing. So in today's video, we're going to play a world quest in the mountains. And this world quest will guide you to unlock the dragon spine area. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let's teleport to this waypoint. And here you will find an NPC called Iris. So interact with her to receive the quest. After that, you will get this world quest in the mountains. So let's follow this path and head towards south, downward on the minimap. And here you will find a waypoint, so let's unlock it. And we are going to investigate this ice. And also in this area we will have this sheer cold effect. So let's come back to the waypoint here and it will decrease the shear co effect. So for the strange eyes, let's break this red stone and it will drop a scarlet quartz. So let's pick up and we're going to hit the strange eyes in the middle and we're going to do it four times. Let's turn towards east, right side on the minimap. We are going to defeat this monster. Alright, after that, there's a Scarlet Quartz behind. So let's pick it up and hit the strange eyes in the middle. So that's the second one. Now let's go behind this eyes. And you will find the third quartz. <laughs> and for the last one, let's turn towards south, downward on the minimap. Let's climb up here. And there's the fourth one. Now let's come back and hit it for the last time. And the ice will break and now we can start the device. And then we will unlock this frost bearing tree, which we can offer these crimson ergot. And I'll have another video coming up on gathering all these crimson ergots. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. Alright, after that, let's follow the quest navigation and on the way we can unlock the statue of the seven so that this area is lit up and i have another video for unlocking all the waypoints in this area so if you haven't unlocked all the waypoints it may be beneficial for you to check that video first and for now i will show you how to unlock this statue of the seven So let's head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap, and follow this path. And 
Here, take a right turn and go up the stairs and follow this path. And here to your left, you will find a scarlet stone and also a stair. So let's take this stairs. And the monster will show up, so let's just go around it. And keep following this path and keep going up. And come to this location, you will see another scarlet stone. So let's pick one up and head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. You will see this statue of the seven covered in this ice. So let's break it while the scarlet stone is still in effect. Otherwise, you can't break the ice here. After that, we can unlock this statue. And the map is now visible. Or after that, let's follow the quest navigation. And here we are being pushed back. And let's go back to the camp and report to the NPC. Alright, then the quest has updated and we are going to find two more strange ice blocks. So for the next one, and if you have already unlocked this waypoint, you can teleport there directly. Otherwise you can teleport to this statue of the seven and follow me. And for you who have unlocked this waypoint, just teleport there and skip ahead in the video. Alright, then let's glide towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. And follow this path. After that, let's wait for our stamina to regenerate. And glide towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. and glide along this mountain. And here, look down, there's the waypoint. All right, then let's turn towards south, downward on the minimap. We're going to solve a puzzle here. So come to this silly and this switch. In front, there are five Quirrell Pillars. And we're going to need a Pyro character. And here what we're going to do is to start the puzzle and look at this silly. And then we're going to light up these pillars in the order given by the silly. So from left to right, starting from one to five, we're going to light up the first one and then the fourth one, and then the fifth one, and then the second one, and lastly the third one. So let me demonstrate. Now wait for it to come back. Faster? Okay, faster. After that, let's come back here. A chest has appeared. And inside this chest, there's a crimson agate. One. So let's open up this chest. Take it and have fun. After that, we're going to defeat the monsters. Or right, after that, the ice in the middle will be broken. And this passage is opened. So let's head inside 
and look down, there's a warming city. So let's follow it. So that we don't get the sheer cold effect. Or after this city, let's come back to the fireplace. Use your elemental sight. You can see that there are several snow piles on the ground. So we are going to melt the snow and find the second city. So first head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. There's a fireplace, so let's light it up. And to the left, there's a snow pile. So first, let's melt this pile. And there's nothing in it. Then come to this one. And no silly in it. Then come to this one. And no silly in it. Then come to the last one here. Fire it up. And there's the silly, so let's follow it. This gate will be opened and inside there's a scarlet cross. So let's break it and pick it up. And come back to the strange eyes and hit it. And we're going to hit it with scarlet cross a total of four times. So that was the first one. Now let's go around this ice block and find three other Scarlet Quartz And there's our last one And then we can start this device Now if you have already unlocked this waypoint, then you can teleport there directly. And if not, you can follow me and go all the way around and unlock this waypoint and continue to go along this path and then unlock this waypoint and then follow this path to unlock this waypoint at the entrance and then head inside this mountain to unlock this waypoint. Otherwise, if you have already unlocked this waypoint, you can skip ahead in the video and wait until I get to this waypoint. Then from this waypoint, let's head towards east, right side on the minimap. There's a passage down here, so let's glide down and follow this path. And here, turn towards east, right side on the minimap, you will find this waypoint. So let's go ahead and unlock it. Or after that, let's glide towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. And here we have our third strange ice block. And initially it's protected by a barrier, so you cannot go through it. And the way to unlock this 
barrier is by completing a challenge in the middle. And this challenge is quite difficult, so if you are having trouble with it, I can recommend you to go for co-op mode. Alright, then let's start the challenge. After that, this barrier is unlocked and hit the strange eyes in the middle. Alright, then let's come up on this path. And here you will find a fireplace, so let's slide it up and decrease our sheer cold effect. And let's turn towards north, upward on the minimap you will find a rock pile. So let's break it. And inside here there's a scarlet cross. So let's pick it up and let's hit the strange eyes. Alright, then let's go back to the fireplace. And this time let's turn to your right, so turn towards east, right side on the minimap. Let's follow this path. Come all the way to the end here. There's another Scarlet Cross. So let's pick it up and go back to the ice block. And turn towards south, downward on the minimap. There's a fourth scarlet cross. And also after completing the challenge, in the middle, open it and inside there's a chrism agate. Now let's hit it for the fourth time and now we can interact with the device. Now after we have cleared 3 ice blocks and found 3 devices, let's teleport back to this statue of the 7. Alright, then let's follow the quest navigation and head towards southwest bottom left on the minimap. Now we are able to go through this passage. Come up here, there are two Hilchu shooters. Let's ignite the bomb on the water. And going up on these pillars, there will be ice dropping from above, so I would recommend you to swim across. Right then, come up here near the fireplace. Look towards west, left side on the minimap. You will see a Sealy and also an Animograna. And here we are going to need a Quirrell character to activate it. So switch to Kaya or any other Quirrell character first. And now let's go towards it. Use a Quirrell skill and a wind current will be generated. And let's climb up from here on this wall and head towards west, left side on the minimap right and there you see a teleport waypoint so let's go ahead and unlock it and here we're going to defeat these monsters or right after that let's head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap come over to this edge you will find a scarlet cross. So let's pick it up and look towards the giant pillar. We are going to hit this one. 
So that would be the middle one. Here, there's the first one. And there's the second one that we just hit. And to the right, above, there's the third one. Now let's follow this path and go up in the mountain. Go all the way here and activate this warming pillar. And here turn towards north, upward on the minimap. We're going to defeat this monster and break these ice blocks and these fireplaces will be revealed and then you can light them up to decrease the sheer cool effect know your place. or after that this barrier is unlocked and inside we can gather this scarlet quartz now let's head back to the stairs and let's switch out a bow character and then we're going to hit this ice block down there Or after that, let's come back. And turn towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. We're going to climb up on this wall. And then from here, let's turn towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. We're going to climb to this tree. And near the tree here you will find two fireplaces and an animal pillar. So let's use an animal character to activate it. We'll see about that. And this wind current will appear. So ride the wind current up and go through these rings. Yeah. And at this end there's a scarlet stone. So <gasps> let's pick it up. Glide down here, so glide towards west, left side on the minimap, and hit the last ice block. Now all three devices are melted. Now we can operate all these three devices. So let's start from the top one, and then glide towards the middle one. Start it and glide towards the last one right then let's jump down here this domain is available and we are going to come down here and open this chest and inside there's a chrism agate. Ooh, what's in here? And we can by the way unlock this domain. Now simply teleport back to the camp and report to the NPC. And that's it. That's the end of this quest. And before we leave, let's go back, I will show you a hidden achievement. So let's teleport back to the middle of Dragon Spine. And let's down. climb up. Following this path.
go through this ring and climb up from here. And here you will find three fireplaces and an animal pillar in the middle. So let's light them up. The fireplaces. And the animal pillar will be unlocked. So let's activate it. And ride the wind current up. Go through these rings and land on this pillar. Now wait for the stamina to regenerate and then turn towards west, left side on the minimap. We are going to climb up on this pillar and you will get a hidden achievement. Behold. And here you will also find a chrism a gate. So that's it, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.